Yeah, you can look this way. This one look this way? Oh, that looks great. Can I get those eyes in here? Okay, go over here to the right. And this one look here, please. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, how you guys do, man? It's your boy, Mr. J, aka Kwame Boy, a bong boy, a dekuli, a dewali, a doku mwake, kriyo boy, bazinga, mano, tasha, yo, chine, do boy, we back in the building. You guys good, man? Thank you for tuning in once again, man. It's another episode of Mr. J's reaction. Disclaimer, though, this right here, this is a non-musical reaction. We're just going to talk about ish. You feel me? But before we do, man, if this is your first time coming through, man, pause for a minute. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like and that notification, man. Give us a thumbs and leave a comment, please. Let that commercial play. You smell me, man? Hey, once again, man, it's all good having you in here. Now, um, every year, we do have the BET Awards, man. We have awards across the globe, man. Like the BET, the MTV, the, you know, the, the, the Billboard, and it's like that. And it seems as if every year, we always have this, this, this clique of, of, of artists that, who come around from Africa under the international act category. And for some beautiful reason, only our Nigerians try to pull it off. Now, it is, it is safe to say that more Nigerian artists have received the best BET International Act than any other country that I know of. You feel me? I could be wrong, leave a comment. So, we are going to talk about the BET Award which happened yesterday, man, 2022 session. Now, big shout out first of all to, to P. Diddy, man. This man got the Lifetime Achievement Award. We all know what P. Diddy has done, man. This man is not no easy peasy in the entertainment industry in the U.S. Across the globe, man. This man came up. He was B.I.G.'s right-hand man, man. They created the Bad Boy Entertainment. And then the rest is history. So many artists have gone through Mr. P. Diddy's hands. Of course, it is only natural and right that he got awarded this thing. So big up and shout out to this man. And mind you, this man had a say in twice as tall. Burner Boy. Yes, executive producer for that album, which has been doing marvelously well man, across the globe, man. It's made this man millions i'm talking about burner boys made burner boy millions and millions in terms of booking fee streaming fee just 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 everything entertain you know yes no we want to applaud this man now um we have a whole lot of categories this year man a whole lot of categories man best female you know best it is best that but the sweetest part of what I'm about to say, what I was interested in, is the fact that Nigerian, man, Thames, this sister who just started her career uh, in 2018, we are in 2022, four years in, four years in, she won big two awards. Best collaboration for Essence. She did with Wizkid and Justin B. From, you know, you know Justin B, man. Yes, Essence. She took the award and then Best International Act Artist. It just means that in the category of you know everybody who came in, that for the best collaboration we had Wizkid, Justin B, Thames, Essence, DJ Khaled, Lil Baby, Lil Dirk. Every chance I get. Baby Kim, Kendra Lamar, Family Ties, man, Doja Cat, Kiss, man, Drake, Future Thug, Way Too Sexy, and BF featuring Nicki Minaj. And yes, best collaboration, man, yes. Whisk Kid took it home, man. He took it home. You feel me? Essence, by the way, Essence is a great, great, great. Essence, the, man, that project, Essence, the moment Justin B stepped on it, oh, man, I knew that it was going to be something, it was going to be something epic and something beautiful. You feel me? Now, the best international act, we had Dave from the UK, Dino's from France, 
Falia Pupa from DRC, Fire Boy again from Nigeria, Little Sims UK, man, Ludmilla from Brazil. Oh, I know Ludmilla. She does good music. Big up and shout out to Ludmilla. Uh, we have Major League from South Africa, Tay C from France, and then Camps again. Now, when you look at that, you know, we have two Nigerians in it. Fireboy DML and Thames, and guess who brought it home? Thames. She won two awards. Does she deserve it? Very, very much. She deserved it. Did she work for it? Hell yeah, she worked for it. Is she talented? And, you know, of course she is talented, and she knows exactly what it is she is doing. So my question is this, man. When I go all through, when I go through these things like this constantly, you know, year in, year out, year in, year out, this channel is three years old. Yes, my channel is three years old. I mean, year in, year out, and I have never, ever seen a Cameroonian artist on this BET thing. I begin to ask myself if they themselves put limitations on them because... BT is not about, you know, who knows who. It's about who does what the previous year before the award. So this is 2022. You know, 2023, we're still going to have BET awards. Now, between now and that time, it's about which artist drops what and which artist project makes a whole lot of noise. And if you look at it, man, critically looking at things, you see that it will boil down to what? Your marketing strategy. How you get that buzz off your country. Because Thames is not just loved in Nigeria. By the way, it's a beautiful thing to be to conquer your territory first before you want to go offshore. So, the question again, I keep asking some of these coming artists is this. What is your management doing? What is your manager doing? What is your team doing? What is stopping your team from just get a nomination? I'm talking about, we all know them. I don't know, but if it's talk about boastful this, pride this, ego that, ego this, man, we are number one. Calling for this band, the 8020, this, this, just, you know, if it's social media, you guys win the award. Now I mean, but let me not take everything away from Thames, man. This is some, man, oh man, four years in and you are already bagging these things, man? I bet you, this is the beautiful thing with Nigerians, though. When they win one award, they go back and say, okay, Omar, I won this award. She, I won't win another one. They go in again. They put it, they double the effort so that they can win more award. So I'm thinking from BET is going to get to Billboard. From Billboard is going to get to, you know, Burner Boy already got the Grammys. So think about that. But Burner Boy started with BET before hitting that Grammy. See, that is the mindset of these Nigerian artists and these entertainers from Nigeria. So my question is this. I will put it all up on the Cameroon audience. What are you guys doing to help elevate these artists from this local and primitive mindset to the level where they could be nominated? Yes, what, what are we doing? Of course, a whole lot of you come and say, I just like hating. But this vlog is, is, for, is for, for the thinkers, those who want to see things change, those who want to see things get better in this Cameroonian music industry. You feel me? Big up to my Nigerians. That's why you cannot argue with Nigerians, man. Follow who know road. You cannot stop. Let's just, no more hate about the Nigerians. The industry, no more. They are going places. They are making money. No more. Let's focus on building our own ish. You dig, man? Big up to Thames, man. Hey, all the best, man. All the best to her and the management team, man. The team that she surrounds herself with is the team that is making her go this far. Niger to the world. We out of here. Hit that subscribe button. Smash the like and that notification, man. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let's share this knowledge. You dig? If you say anything funny, especially from Cameroon, I block you off this vlog. We just want positive, critical thinkers. I mean, we out here. Be good. Be nice, man. Hey, big up once again, man. Big up, man. Hey. Whoo. Peace. Action God. Big up the RP family. Mr. J, I see you.
I know some artists don't do this. Yeah. Got 